Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this face parallaxing effect in After Effects. All right, let's get started. Here is the footage. I'm going to drag and drop this inside the new composition icon. And you can also download the project file from my Patreon page. So first things first, let's make this a 3D layer. You don't, if you don't find this 3D switch, you can go and click on this and make this a 3D layer. And I'm going to create a new camera. Hit OK. And I'll also create a new null object, make this a 3D, and I'm going to parent the camera to the null. So we're going to use this null as a controller, okay? I'm going to duplicate this clip a couple of times, maybe three times, and I'll go to two views. I'm going to set this view to the top, and you can see there the footage is right here. So I'm going to select this three footage except for the last one and I'm going to move this towards the camera like this and have some variation on this right so I'm going to select the first one the top layer push it a little bit further away somewhere here and the second one and maybe I'm going to move it towards the camera and we have and now we have these three layers scattered on 3D space, right? So we're going to have to scale it back down. So I'm going to go to one view again. And right here, you can see that. So right now, just click away like that. And maybe I'm going to set this color so that you can see it to red. And I'm going to try to match this scale to this, sorry, this original layer size. Okay. So I'm going to select the top layer. Hold down shift and scale it down. You can zoom in roughly to the size of the original one. Something here. And I'm going to select the second layer, zoom out and shift and scale it down. Some there. So select the last one and I'm going to scale it down. Hold down shift and scale it down. You can also use the scale here. Hit S and you can just dial in the values, but it's kind of hard to mm, snap it on this, right? So I think scaling it here is better. So hold on shift and, you know, scale it down. Let's see, select the first one. I think it's not aligned to the first one, so I think we have to modify the scale a little bit here. So somewhere here. So let's get it down. All right, that's uh, perfect. Let's zoom out. Now that we have the all the layers in place, we're going to select the first layer and we're going to draw a mask. Select the rectangle tool. Make sure you select the, this layer and now you can just draw a mask wherever you want. Maybe I'm going to add this one and select the second layer. Select this one. And the last layer, which is the top layer, and you can select anywhere you want. I'm going to select this and you're creating a mask like that and disable the audio because we don't need the audio here all right so we have the mask in place and all we have to do is add some position keyframe on the camera right so i'm gonna go maybe somewhere around here set a keyframe for the position and go to the first frame and i'm gonna dolly in you can see that I think we still need some position offset for this because it's still in the frame. So I can just make this out of the frame somewhere here. And if I dolly out here, see that the size is still so big because we have changed the position and also i think we have to offset the position of this as well hit p on the keyboard and offset the position and 
maybe I think yeah I think that's fine so in order to scale this back just hit M on the keyboard to reveal the mask select this to none so we have this borders here can scale it down you know to fit the size of the comp like that and you can put back this to add all right so I'll do the same for this layer hit M on the keyboard go to the mask and set this to none and maybe I'm going to scale it down and you know try to scale it here hold down shift and you can just scale it down and put back the mask to add right so that's how you do it all right so if you go now well that's really nice select all the keyframes of the null hit f9 or easy easy ease go to the graph and change the graph like this and that's really fast maybe I'm gonna make it slow so make bring this last keyframe away and see that it's really nice you can see that once it's it reach here it kind of stops there so I want this to you know zoom in a little bit somewhere around here and I'm gonna select the camera hit P on the keyboard and go a few frames backwards set a keyframe for the position of the camera and I'll continue the dolly with the camera so maybe around here I'm gonna move the camera out of the frame sorry move dolly out the camera somewhere around here when all the pieces comes together like that so select all the keyframes F9 and if you play it back now that's still zoomed in all right that's really nice you can see that and in the original example i also added a rotation you hold on shift and r and i'm going to animate this rotation let's set it to 45 degree set a keyframe in on the orientation and maybe somewhere here set this to zero select all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph and I'm going to tweak the graph exactly the same as that position and maybe I'm going to offset this to the exact timing all right that's really nice all right once you are done with that let's just go inside the camera settings and camera options sorry and I'm going to turn on the depth of field so that when it dolly out you can see you have some depth here you can increase the aperture maybe I'm going to set this to 50 the higher the aperture the more the blur you have the shallow the shallow the depth of field is right so that makes it a little bit more realistic all right so and I also added a text you can you know easily add a text you make this a 3d and maybe I'm going to Hit P and change the position. Scale it down. Move it up. Somewhere around here. All right, you can just add a text like that. And I also added a vignetting. So create a solid, black solid. And hold down on this rectangle tool and select this ellipse tool. You can just double click on that and go to the mask and subtract this hit F to feather it and you can just add some vignetting there that's how simple it is to create this kind of face parallaxing effect inside After Effects I hope you learned something from this this is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video take care